Hello, math buddies! Today, we're going to learn division of polynomials using long division. I am Jordans, and welcome to Math T. Our target, illustrate the process of dividing polynomial using long division. Here are the steps in dividing polynomials using long division. Number 1. Arrange the dividend and the divisor in descending order. Insert zeros of the missing terms of each polynomial if necessary. Number 2. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Number 3. Multiply the quotient by the divisor. Put the product underneath the dividend. Number 4. Subtract the result from the dividend. Number 5. Bring down the next term in the dividend. Repeat the steps using the resulting polynomial. And number 6, now we have the quotient. The last number that cannot be divided anymore is the remainder. Example number 1. Divide 4x squared plus x minus 1 by x minus 2. The dividend is 4x squared plus x minus 1 and the divisor is x minus 2. Step 1. Check if the given polynomial is arranged in descending order. Yes, it is written in descending order. Then, check if there are missing terms. If none, we will proceed to the next step. Step 2. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, 4x squared divided by x or x raised to 1 is equal to 4x raised to 2 minus 1 and that is equal to 4x. 4x is the first term of the quotient. Step 3. We multiply the quotient to the divisor. So, 4x times x minus 2, and that is 4x times x is equal to 4x squared. 4x times negative 2 is equal to negative 8x. Then, step 4, subtract the result from the dividend. So, 4x squared minus 4x squared is equal to 0 x minus negative 8x is equal to 9x. Then, step 5, bring down the next term in the dividend. So, we bring down negative 1. Then, we will repeat the process. So, 9x divided by x is equal to 9. We multiply 9 to x minus 2. 9 times x is equal to 9x. 9 times negative 2 is equal to negative 18. Let us subtract. 9x minus 9x is equal to 0. Negative 1 minus negative 18 is equal to 17. Step 6. Now we have the quotient which is equal to 4x plus 9 and the remainder is equal to 17. We can now write the answer as 4x plus 9 plus 17 over x minus 2 where 4x plus 9 is the quotient, 17 is the remainder and x minus 2 is the divisor. Example number 2. Divide negative 2x minus 3 plus x cubed by x minus 1. Step 1. Check if the given polynomial is arranged in standard form. As you can see, it is not. So let us arrange it in descending power of x. From negative 2x minus 3 plus x cubed, it is now x cubed minus 2x minus 3. There is a missing term, so we will insert 1. It is now x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x minus 3. Let us write it inside the long division. x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x minus 3 and outside is the divisor x minus 1. Step 2. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. x cubed divided by x or x raised to 1. It is equal to x raised to 3 minus 1. It is equal to x squared. x squared is the first term of the quotient. Step 3. We multiply x squared to x minus 1. x squared times x is equal to x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is equal to negative x squared. Then, step 4. Subtracting it. We have x cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0. 0x squared minus negative x squared is equal to x squared. Next step, bring down the next term in the dividend. 
So, we bring down negative 2x. Then, we will repeat the process. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. x squared divided by x is equal to x raised to 2 minus 1, which is equal to x. Then, multiply x to x minus 1. x times x is equal to x squared. And, x times negative 1 is equal to negative x. Let us subtract x squared minus x squared is 0, and negative 2x minus negative x is equal to negative x. Bring down negative 3. Again, repeat the process. Negative x divided by x is equal to negative 1. And we will multiply negative 1 to x minus 1. Negative 1 times x is equal to negative x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Now, let us subtract. Negative x minus negative x is 0. Negative 3 minus 1 is equal to negative 4. And negative 4 is the remainder. Step 6. Our quotient is x squared plus x minus 1 and the remainder is negative 4. We can write it as x squared plus x minus 1 plus negative 4 over x minus 1. Example number 3. Divide x raised to 4 minus x by x plus 2. The given polynomial is arranged already, but there are missing terms, so we will complete it. x raised to 4 plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared minus x plus 0. Now, let us proceed to division. Step 2. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor x raised to 4 divided by x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 1, which is equal to x cubed. x cubed now is the first term of the quotient. Step 3. Multiply x cubed to x plus 2. So, x cubed times x is equal to x raised to 4 and x cubed times 2 is equal to 2x cubed. Step 4. Subtracting it, x raised to 4 minus x raised to 4 is 0. 0x cubed minus 2x cubed is equal to negative 2x cubed. Step 5, bring down the next term that is 0. Then, repeat the process. So, negative 2x cubed divided by x is equal to negative 2x raised to 3 minus 1. And that is equal to negative 2x squared. Then, we multiply negative 2x squared to x plus 2. Negative 2x squared times x is equal to negative 2x cubed. Negative 2x squared times 2 is equal to negative 4x squared. Let us subtract. Negative 2x cubed minus negative 2x cubed is equal to 0. 0x zero squared minus negative 4x squared is equal to 4x squared. Then, bring down negative x. Next, 4x squared divided by x is equal to 4x raised to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 4x. We multiply 4x to x plus 2. 4x times x is equal to 4x squared. 4x times 2 is equal to 8x. Let us subtract. 4x squared minus 4x squared is equal to 0. Negative x minus 8x is equal to negative 9x. Then, bring down 0. Negative 9x divided by x is equal to negative 9. We will multiply negative 9 to x plus 2. Negative 9 times x is equal to negative 9x. Negative 9 times 2 is equal to negative 18. Let us subtract. Negative 9x minus negative 9x is equal to 0. 0 minus negative 18 is equal to 18. Our quotient is x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 9. 18 is the remainder. We can write it as x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 9 plus 18 over x plus 2. Now, it's your time to practice. Divide the following polynomials using the long method. Number 1. x cubed minus 7x minus 6 divided by x minus 2. Number 2. x squared plus 10 divided by x plus 4. Don't forget to comment down your answer so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you. 
Have a nice day and God bless everyone.